Hi everyone, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on getting vibration functionality in your Unity project um, basically to allow your, your iPads and iPhones and Android tablets and phones to vibrate when a couple of objects collide in the world. So I have a really simple setup here. There's a player. He has a rigid body and a box collider. That's just so that there can be physics interactions in the world. Uh, the player also has an animation where he kind of bounces back and forth up off the wall. Um, that's just to demonstrate him hitting the wall without us having to do anything. And then he has this player vibration script on there. So I'm just going to hit play. And we'll see what's going on. You'll see a little readout in the editor here. This would be a vibration. And then also it, Unity itself reads out that it used handheld vibrate. So we are getting our vibration based on the little cube touching that wall, bumping into it. Um, let me show you Unity's documentation here real quick. This is basically their documentation, the bulk of it, for vibration settings on handheld devices. The, I, I couldn't find anything on the intensity of the vibration or how to adjust the duration of the vibration. Um, if I do, I'll you know, upload a new tutorial updated with that. But this is really it. So in my scene, let's take a look at my player vibration script the console. Um, <clears throat> really, really simple. So ignore the play sound. Um, that's from a, the Unity code snippet. I believe I pulled out. So we're just saying an on collision on collision enter function. If we collide with collision, if the magnitude of that collision is greater than 0.5, I think I used one actually to begin with, and which is these two little and symbols. Uh, the object is colliding with the game ab object tagged wall, then we would call our handheld vibrate uh, function here. And then we would print out a little debug log, which is that nifty little console message I print out. Just just to let us know in the editor, hey, we've, we've collided. So this velocity magnitude is basically how hard your player, a cube, or the two objects are going to hit each other. One was a good threshold for me. If you want it to vibrate, if it just taps it lightly, then go like 0.25. If you don't want it to vibrate, unless it's a really massive hit, like hits it really hard, then go two or three or something like that. One worked for me. And then also, game object tag wall here, we got we have to make sure these two conditions are met before it would vibrate. Is the magnitude magnitude higher than one? And was it hitting a game object tag wall? And this is just to prevent this little player box here from calling this every time it bumps the collision on the floor or bumps into anything else like bumps into something that would be softer so this way we can filter it and say only if it hits something called wall um, you could tag everything in your environment that has collision environment or something and that way basically if it hits anything in the environment tagged environment it causes a vibration on your phone so let's uh, <coughs> take a look at the script um, oh, the tag. Okay, so I put the uh, I tag the wall. So the ground is untagged. Okay, so we will never register collisions with that for our purposes of our script. The wall, however, I did tag wall, and it's pretty simple. Go in here, add tag, type in what you want, and then in the pull down, um, just make sure it's assigned to wall here. It has a box collider on it. The wall does not have to have a rigid body on it; just the player. Uh, in order for collisions to be registered, only one of these objects has to have that rigid body on it. They both need collision and not set to its trigger. So they shouldn't register if it's set to a trigger. Um, you could use on trigger enter and filter that way for that. So um, let me hit play here and just show it bumping in. Console message is printing out. And then here next, I will edit and show a little bit of video of this working on my Samsung Galaxy where you can hear the phone kind of vibrate every time that that little player hits the wall. There's another script in here called Vibration Test. And this is real simple. This will just do a little on GUI button. This is from Unity's uh, documentation. You have a little button, and as soon as you touch it, it will call Handheld Vibrate. And that's just for you to test on your devices if, if vibration is working on the devices. So. Hopefully this helps you guys out, and um, as usual, I will zip this little project up here with these scripts and everything, and it'll be downloadable in the video link through Dropbox. So, everyone enjoy.